Well, this week firefighters across Connecticut are facing a different kind of heat than they typically are with those 100 degree temperatures rolling into the state now very much here. They are making sure that they stay safe and cool as well. It's hard to be outside in those full gear at scenes, but here in East Hartford, they say that all of their firefighters are ready and prepared for when they get called. First responders are often dressed in heavy protective gear, whether that be firefighters in PPE or officers in bulletproof vests. What keeps them safe isn't light. Our primary concern is our responders, making sure that they're hydrated, making sure that they're safe. Uh, I don't think people recognize that when we go to calls and we encapsulate ourselves in our PPE, it's, it's essentially like wrapping yourself in a foil suit. That's why this week they're using what's called the Rehab One bus. This typically is used only for major calls, but this week it'll hit the street more often. But when the heat spikes like this, we, we pre staff it. We make sure there's somebody with it and they would go to any call of necessity. Anything that lasts for a period of time. We also offer it to our police department. So if our police department has any extended event where they're wearing their, their ballistic gear, um, we offer that to them to make sure that they're staying hydrated. This bus will be a refuge from the demands of any call, making sure the first responders stay safe so that they in turn can keep you safe. Light snacks, food, electrolytes, uh, there's a tent, there's misting fans, there's cooling chairs, um, there's monitoring equipment. There's all sorts of stuff in there to make sure we, we do everything we can to keep our responders safe. The chief tells us these firefighters are ready and waiting for any calls that come their way, no matter the weather. In East Hartford, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.